So moving from progress back over to reports, I want to preview a few things here. A lot of what we're going to cover uh, in this is just going to be at the surface level, but at the end of the grading periods, such as when we print progress reports at the end of the quarter or at the end of the semester when we go to store grades, um, the reports areas we're going to get a lot more particular about as far as how to set up your reports. Um, a lot of the reporting has become a lot more uh, teacher controlled, so we don't really have the templates that we can drop into the reports area. So when we get to the ends of the grading periods, we're going to tell you what to check, how to click to make those progress reports look very similar to what we used in the past. Keep in mind, we can also now run reports for individual students, uh, just like we could individually assign uh, particular assignments. Now we can run individual reports or on groups of students as well. Looking across, um, we have another option called the multifunction assignment report. It's going to be a little different than printing all of the individual student reports. And then, of course, we can run a quick score sheet if we need to. So if we wanted to print a score sheet for us to check things off that we collect on paper or that we collect at the door of our classroom as students enter, that's that report. And then, of course, the student roster. Um, that allows teachers to print off a list of your students so that you can quickly take attendance uh, or leave your attendance sheets for your substitutes. Again, running these reports will produce PDFs and printables uh, much like the old gradebook did, but the biggest uh, overall uh, thing that we can say about reports is that there are a lot more options. Uh, we might have to provide more guidance on that, like I said, at the end of the grading periods.